Gina from Gina K Designs, and it's great to see all of you coming in from all around the United States and around the world. Today, we're going to have some fun because we have a brand new kit and we have four other products that I think you're really going to love, and we've got plenty of time to use them for the holiday season. But before we get started, let's say hello to Tom. Hey, Tom. Hola. How are you? I am better than horrible. It's <laughs> Happy craft afternoon. It is. I'm so excited. I actually made some things, a couple little things here to share today as well. And then um, we're going to do a regular craft afternoon project too. And we're going to use the new kit. So this is so exciting. Now, normally our releases are big and we have all of our illustrators join us and we've got tons and tons of products. But this month, well, over the next couple of weeks, we decided to break this up because our next big release is not a holiday release. And this kit and these couple of products are for the holidays. So we were going to hold everything off until November, but we thought, no, everybody wants to get their holiday projects going and they want to keep making holiday things. So we thought we would release these few products now with a brand new incentive. And then in a couple of weeks, our illustrators are going to join us and they have all of their products, their new dyes, and a few other things that we have and another new incentive. So... That's really fun too, because even if you're not into the new release, but you have some other staples that you've been meaning to get, there's a brand new incentive there for you. So let's get started first by showing you the brand new incentive set. And I really love this set so much. Look at this cute little set. Let me zoom in a little bit. So this is called um, Create a Tag. And I just love how cute that is. Look at that. Isn't that so fun? So it's got this little tag die, and I mean, this little tag stamp, and you can stamp that onto white cardstock or whatever color cardstock you want. And you can do techniques on this, which I'll show you where you can, instead of stamping this as solid color, you can stamp a pattern on it and then stamp that onto a piece of cardstock. And the nice thing about this is I designed it so that it matched our tag trio. So it matches the smallest die in this tag trio set. And, you know, as you get closer to the holidays, you're going to be done maybe making your cards for this year. But then you have to think about all the tags for the gifts and maybe the wrapping paper and things like that that you want to make. Tags for neighbor's gifts and cookies and bottles of wine and all that kind of stuff. So this is a really fun incentive for that. It's got Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to and from and do not open until the 25th. Then it's got these cute little elements that you can stamp in here, or you can use these for backgrounds to make your own pattern paper. So I just love this little, um, this little tag set. It's called Create a Tag, and it's yours free with any $75 purchase. Now until the next one debuts in a couple of weeks, and then keep in mind that this one will go into our regular inventory. So. Um, Sammy will update the website with the new incentive. Don't worry. We know what time the, the release went live, and then that's when the new incentive starts to get sent out. She just hasn't gotten to it yet. She's, you know, she had to wait until everything went live. Okay. Yeah, you could definitely use these little elements in the wreath builder as well. So that's a great idea. And again, if you're looking for the tag set that goes with it, it's called Tags Trio our tag trio die set, and this cuts the tag out perfectly. 
All right. And then there's lots of uses for these big tags too, right? So, okay. So that's our new incentive. Now I want to show you a couple of products that are available um, that we released for a special class that I did not that long ago for Scrapbook of Cards Today magazine. And honestly, when I created this set for Scrapbook and Cards Today, I was so glad that the students got it, but I was a little bummed out that it wasn't in my holiday kit because that's how much I love this stamp set. And I'm going to show you some cards that I made with it as well. So this is the stamp set here. It's called Holiday Silhouettes. Let me, let me back out a little bit. So if you missed out on this class, first of all, this greeting right here, oh, I love it. And this little town, look at how cute this is. So this is called Holiday Silhouettes. It's got a big Merry Christmas greeting that is perfect for so many um, cards that you make. You know how we make all these fun backgrounds using stencils and um, different techniques and Simon Hurley stamping foam and all this other stuff. Sometimes the backgrounds are so beautiful, um, but you actually don't really want to put anything else on it. Just a big, bold greeting like this is just perfect. And then it's got peace, love, joy. It's got this cute little, um, now this is really tiny. So this is a Santa with reindeer, Santa and a sleigh. It's very different than our big Santa die. So, you know, if you wanted to put this on a tag, it would fit, or you wanted to do a smaller version of Santa, you could stamp that and mix it in with last month's kit. Then it's got this cute little town here that's on a curve. I just love that. A reindeer, a dove. It's got an ornament, this pine sprig here, and then a little snowflake. I like this snowflake too. It's very modern, that snowflake. Fun to color in the circles. Happy holidays, Christmas wishes from our house to yours, and um, happy holidays in a different font down here, which I kind of like. Sometimes I want that crisp, clean font, and sometimes I want it to look a little bit more quaint. So it's got a couple of options there. Now let me show you some cards that I made using this stamp set. So here's a card that I made. And this was one of the classes that I taught. And I can show this same kind of card, but maybe I'll do it in a tag in another class. This is so much fun. Um, and all you have to do for that is just cut out a circle die and just mask it off. So this is a really, really fun card. And then I also made this card love this card too and i just colored this in with a gel pen but you can also use white pigment ink and a little paintbrush or you can use a white colored pencil but that was a, one of the other cards that i did so that's two cards i made using this stamp set here and there'll be more okay so i'll put these aside and i'll also post these pictures in our group and on uh, YouTube here so that you guys can see that as well up close. All right, then let's put that aside. Then we have um, this die. This is the Holidays and Shadow die set. So if you want to stamp Happy Holidays, but you want a nice big die that says Holidays, this is the perfect one. It's got the Holidays and it's got Shadow. Now, why did we do Holidays? Well, we also have this little two pack of sentiment sheets. Um, and we did some greetings. There's no place like home for the holidays, right? So you can mix that with the word holidays, happy holidays, and then wishing you a happy. Now you probably wouldn't say wishing you a happy holidays, right? So let me show you how you can use this. All you have to do is cut out the word holidays and just snip the S off the end. And now it can say wishing you a happy holiday. So I really like this um, die because it can be used both ways. And then these little sentiment sheets, it's just a two pack, just enough to get you through lots of cards and tags. And um, 
you know, not very much waste there. And we did them all in black. By the way, these are foilable. So if you want to foil these with a laminator, you can, and they foil so beautifully. All right. Now um, I want to show you something else. This is the brand new Graceful Snowflake Stencil. Look at the detail in this. This is just so fun. I love this snowflake so much. And some of my team was pointing out, they said, did you do this on purpose? I didn't do it on purpose at all. Um, but they said that these look like little snowmen faces <laughs> going around. <laughs> and I think they're right. But this snowflake is so beautiful. And what I love about these kinds of snowflake stencils is they make beautiful anytime stencils. You could do this in any color combination and it would be more like a mandala. But if you mix it with holiday greetings and you do it in those wintry colors, uh, it can be a beautiful holiday stencil. So here's a card I made with it. And here is where I use that holidays die and I cut off the S and turned it into holiday. And I used one of the sentiment strips. I didn't even cut that out with a die. I just sliced it with my paper cutter. So this, yes, you know what? There isn't, there isn't a video where I have foiled these, but I will add that in one of my upcoming holiday videos so that you guys can see how I foil these sentiment strips for sure. So these are the new products available now at Gina K Designs. And now I want to talk about the new kit. I'm so excited about this kit. Oh, I'm excited about all this stuff. Okay, so... Here is the new kit. Let me open this up. This kit is just filled with winter foliage. So, of course, you know, we think of poinsettias for just Christmas, but they're a winter flower. And you can use poinsettias for winter birthdays. You can use them for anything. So you get this information sheet with everything that's inside the kit. And what's inside this kit is the Precious Poinsettia Stamp Set. So let me show you that. This is the beautiful six by eight stamp set by Arjita. Arjita designed this for us and it is absolutely stunning. And what's really neat about it is you can use this a couple of different ways. So you can stamp this big poinsettia and color it with Copics, colored pencils or watercolor. I'm sure Arjita is gonna share a million cards with you because I've seen some of them and they are unbelievable. But you can also use it as a two-step stamp where you can add these images onto here and stamp them in red, stamp them in patterns, stamp them in like you can watercolor on these, spritz it, and then stamp that on top of there. And then these parts in green and they layer right in there where they're supposed to. So you can stamp the color in here instead of coloring it. So this way it gives you two options. And then, and here are the greetings. Merry Christmas, and I love this font. Merry Christmas, happy holiday. And it says happy holiday because we have wishing you a happy holiday. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And then we have wishing you without the A. So wishing you joy, wishing you love, wishing you peace. A warm hello and to and from. So that is this beautiful stamp set called Precious Poinsettia. Now, also there's a die that coordinates with this. So it's a big die, it's just a single die. So there's not a magnet with it. We don't do magnets when it's just a single die because you're not gonna lose pieces because it's just one piece. Um, but this is a big single die that will cut out the entire Poinsettia flower. So whether you stamped and colored or you stamped and layer stamped, it will cut this out perfectly. Now, if you're really talented, you could cut this out and you could just stamp the inside pieces in color and it would give you a more art deco kind of feel. But I don't know that I'm going to try that, but I know somebody out there is going to try it and it's going to look amazing. So I just wanted to mention that if you wanted to give that a try, you could. So you get this big die in there as well. Now, let's see what else you get. Yes, you get our winter foliage ephemera pack. 
So um, a lot of you said that um, some of you said you liked die cutting your own. Others said that you did not like die cutting your own at all. Um, I'm going to open this because I'm going to put this in something else. So I'm going to just open it this way. Let's see here. But I want to show you how much you get because there are over 50 pieces of ephemera in here. You get a lot of ephemera and I want to show you how beautiful the pieces are. So let's just start with... Let's see. Look at that poinsettia. Isn't that gorgeous? It is so beautiful. It is watercolored. The artist watercolored this, but it looks almost real, doesn't it? It looks like Argita watercolored it is what it looks like, because <laughs> that's how she's going to make her stamp look. So that's one style poinsettia, and you get several of those in the pack. There's quite a few so that you can make, you know, several of these cards, which... I love that. Um, there's a lot of those. And then, is this the same one? Yep, this is the same one. So there's a lot. I mean, if you wanted to make a bunch of quick cards and you put one poinsettia on each, there's a ton. So that's one image. Now look at this other poinsettia. And they really work nicely together. But this one's different. It's got more pinks in it. And it's just a different style, which is really nice because you can mix them together and they don't look exactly the same. And there's quite a few of those in here, too. So, all right. So then we know poinsettias have some greenery. So we did a few poinsettia leaves here that work really nicely with the poinsettias. And there's a few of those in here. I don't know exactly how many, but there, there's a lot of different things. So you could definitely do a lot of configurations. We've got a couple of different kinds of pine needles. So we've got this really big pine sprig. Then we've got this one. I've seen these trees outside of my house. Um, and then we have this one. And we also have this one. So lots of different pine options, which is really fun. Um, and then, you know, I always like those pokey things that stick out. <laughs> <laughs> and when I say pokey things, I mean things like this. These are the berries. And like this, these are some gr more greenery style things. And then we even did some uh, pine cones. And we did more of a front facing pine cone, which is nice because when you create these types of arrangements, that's kind of how it would look if it was sticking out from a wreath or something like that. So we did some of those. Then we have some white flowers in here. I really like these white flowers. And then we've got this very, very pale, neutral, peachy color. And I thought that they looked really beautiful with the poinsettias. So if you wanted to add more florals into your mix, you could certainly do that with these white flowers. So I love this ephemera so much. And what I love about it is you can just whip together the fastest cards and tags. And so this is a great last minute thing. And for those of you out there that are scrapbookers, my scrapbooking friends, this is a great set for take all your pictures for the holidays, and then you can make a beautiful scrapbook using all of these pieces to accent all of your photos for Christmas. So I love that. And then, let's see, then we have some pattern papers. Now we did these on 80 pound card stock. So these are, we've got two different things in here. So on the back, you've got more sentiment strips. These are different ones than the other set. This is wishing you joy, a gift for you, and warm winter wishes. Because we wanted to be able to use these for winter cards, too. Maybe you make thank you cards for people who give you really nice Christmas gifts. You can use this kind of thing um, anytime. You can also use wishing you joy anytime. There's so many joyful occasions. And then a gift for you. So you can use these for tags. And then we've got... These four half sheets on cardstock, these are printed on cardstock. These are pattern papers. You can use them as pattern papers or you can use them as card bases if you want. But look at this pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my word, that is so beautiful. And it's nice and thick because it's the 80 pound. Um, we've got this beautiful eucalyptus. <laughs> 
We've got a white sweater pattern, which is different than the one that we did in our autumn kit because the autumn kit had more of a beige, like a tan sweater. And I really like the way these two patterns look together. So we've got that. And then we've got the darker eucalyptus pattern. So aren't these just beautiful? So do we have a die that cuts out the strip sentiments? Yes, we do. We have our sentiment strips dies and they will cut these out with no problem at all. Um, no problem. No problem. And yep, our sentiment strips will work with these sentiment strips. So um, we are going to put more of the paper and ephemera in, but we don't have it ready right now. So we'll probably do that um, right when in two weeks when our illustrators release comes out. We'll have a lot more prepared. We only have enough right now for the kits, but we are definitely going to be, you know, getting more in. And what's nice about that is when our illustrators have their release, if you just need that small thing to get up to $75, a pack of ephemera is going to be a great thing to have available. Okay. So now you've got the pattern papers in here and you've got the sentiment strips. That's not all. Okay. So we decided to do a small blending brush. So We've done a large blending brush in our kits before, but a lot of you don't have the small ones yet. And we wanted to give you an opportunity to try them because you can really get into some smaller details with these. They are considerably smaller than our large blending brushes, as you can see. So it gives you the opportunity to do smaller detail areas or blend close to the base of a flower without that brush kind of sweeping over the entire flower. So we wanted to make sure that you guys had a chance to feel the quality of our bristles and to try this smaller brush. The handles are exactly the same size. So these do fit in our brush holders and in our inserts the same way. All right, so you have that. And then this, this I think might be my favorite component of the kit. This is something my daughter Alicia designed. It is a four piece layering poinsettia. Do you get the theme here? It's all about poinsettias. This is the winter foliage. This is called Perfect Poinsettia Layering Stencil. And it's got four pieces. So you've got your big poinsettia here. And then you've got this panel, which will layer right in there. Very easy to line up. Super easy to just, you know, line them up. They line up really easily. And then this is actually very easy to line up because you just lay it over like that section right there. And that gives you an inside detail for these leaves. And then you just pop this onto the center, these little dots for the little dots in the center of your poinsettia. And then it's got this. And this is all of the veins for the poinsettia. Now, what's fun about this is you can stamp this part in embossing ink, and then you could do these veins in gold, or you can do them in silver, or you can do them in black embossing powder. You can also do them in clear embossing powder and then foil on top of that. And I'm gonna show you that because I'm gonna do some foiling things coming up and show you how to do that. But that's very easy to line up because it lines up exactly the same way. And Everything, I don't know if it's kind of hard to, unless you have a light behind it. I don't know if I have a light here on my phone that I can show you. Let's see, do I have a flashlight here? But you can see everything. No, that's not really working very well. Well, you'll be able to see it very easily when you, oh, I gotta turn my flashlight off or my phone's gonna die. But you'll be able to see it very easily um, when you get it at home. Okay, so that's the four piece layering stencil. And I think I'm gonna use this today um, in my card project. Yes, this stencil will be available separately later, but remember our four piece layering stencils are like 20 bucks. So you get all this other stuff in the kit and it's a really good deal when you do the math. Now, the other thing I wanted to tell you is our kits are normally $59.95, which is an incredible value. If you ever do the math, you will know. 
This one we have on sale. It's $5 off because we know that we've got another release right around the corner and we definitely want you guys to be able to do this. So we took $5 off the price of this kit and you will see that when you go into the website and you'll see it's $54.95. So you get a lot of stuff in this kit, a lot of fun things to try and a lot of beautiful things that you can make with it. So let me show you a couple things that I made using the kit. So I'll start with this one here. I made this card, let me zoom in a little bit. This, I just used the Happy Holiday Greetings from the New Little Incentive, but you can use any greeting you want. That's this right here I used. And I cut that out with some circle dies, and then I just did a little poinsettia sprig. I used our snowflake embossing powder on the background. However, if you want, you can use a stencil and just do a little brick stenciling or a little snowflake stenciling behind there. Super easy card to make. Okay, so that's one card. Another card I made used some of the pattern paper, and this one I decided to go all out on. So I did a strip of pattern paper behind here, and then I just laid out the foliage just going down the card. And then I cut out one of those sentiment strips that comes in the kit using our sentiment strip dies. Now, I think I have two that are the same here. That's the same. Is that the same one? One of these is a duplicate. So I just don't want to confuse you and you guys say, I saw seven and there's only six. There is only six. One of them is a duplicate. I found one laying on the floor and I just stuck it on here. But that's the different sizes that you get in this. So I just cut this out with that and I created this cute little card. Super simple card. Okay, and then I decided to make a tag. So I used the tag. This is the new incentive set, the create a tag. And I stamped it on, a, on the small tag die and then I attached it to the next size. And then I just did another little grouping of foliage and I stamped with the Merry Christmas here to create this quick tag. So you could see how quickly and simple, yes, modern, right? Jeanette, very modern style. Um, and you can make really quick cards. I made all of these cards yesterday in about 15 minutes and the tag. So you can really knock out a bunch of stuff using this kit. Now I haven't broken into the stamp set yet, but I will be doing that this week or next week. And I will also be playing with the stencil today. So, all right. So I had to show you all of that before we get started with a project. So again, this stuff is all available now on our website, GinaKDesigns.com. And if you spend 75 or more, it has to be 75 before any tax and any shipping. So your, your total before tax and shipping has to be $75. So just keep that in mind. You know, if you think, oh my gosh, I'm only a dollar short, maybe add a glue, something like that, that, that you might want to use for, um, that you can always use, right? All right, so let me get all my bags out of the way here. So Kathy wants to know, uh, about the reindeer antlers and how they work. So the reindeer antler, it's just a cute little symbol, very modern symbol of a reindeer, right? So if you had a tiny little tag die, let's say, you know, this little tag die, and you just wanted to stamp the reindeer antlers and then underneath happy holidays, it's just a very fun little graphic kind of icon that you would use. So there's really nothing special, although you could stamp this on top of a critter die that you are a critter stamp that you already have. And that would be cute, too, to turn like a little bear and make him dress up for um, Christmas with reindeer antlers. So there is stuff that you can do like that. But um, it's really just a cute little icon that you can use for quick tags. OK, so we're going to get all of this stuff here, these four layers of stencils. And then I think I'm going to use, let me find my ink here. I want to use our carnations for this, but I got to find them. Give me one second. All right, here they are. So 
I want to use our dark carnation, our medium carnation, our light carnation, and I may add a red here. Let me add, I think red hot would be a good red to add. Is this red hot? Yeah, this would be a good red to add. So I think this is going to be a nice um, combination for this. And like, you know, I haven't, I haven't used any of this yet. I tested the stencil. Um, I forget what colors I tested it on. Probably turquoise because that's always sitting out. But um, to make sure that they lined up right on our prototypes. But uh, I haven't really done much else with it. So I thought, why not do it for the first time live <laughs> with you guys? Okay, so I'm looking for my little paper cutter. Here it is. And I'm going to cut a six by six piece of white cardstock out. So let's go ahead and get that six by six. And that's just because that's the size of the stencil. Because when you have these really big stencils like this, sometimes whatever you cut off that doesn't fit on your card, you can actually use for something else. So we'll see if we can. And then let me just get a little piece of cardstock for underneath here. Okay. Where is my washi? Doesn't that sound like, where is my super suit? Remember that <laughs> in The Incredibles? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I have washi tape here, but I can't find the end because it might be the end of the roll. I had another thing of washi tape, Tom. Here it is. All right. Is I, the snowflake embossing powder the puffy white powder? Um, the snowflake embossing powder, the puffy white powder. So puffy white powder will give you kind of a crinkly effect. So it does look really good to use for snow, definitely. Um, but it's not very smooth. So if you're looking for a very smooth white, I would use the fine detail white instead. But yes, it would be very cute for like Santa um, cuffs and around the hat, and it would look very cute for the tail of something, you know, like a bunny, that kind of stuff. So, all right, so we're gonna go with our lightest color and we're gonna use the biggest stencil. Now these stencils are marked at the bottom so you can feel them. You wanna make sure that you've got it in the right direction. And when I say that, it doesn't matter which way you do it. You can do it left, you know, back or front. Just make sure you do them all back or all front. Okay. I know, isn't this fun? Like our last release was really, our Christmas release was really more about snow and, or the, the kit was more about snow and things like that, which I'm not done with that kit yet either. Um, but this is all winter foliage, which is really super fun. So I'm I just put a little washi tape just to hold it down. Yes, this one's a good one because it's not necessarily Christmas, right? How big is the poinsettia when it is? Um, so let's see here. It is about four and a half inches. Four and a half inches would be from the biggest point to the, yeah, four and a half inches is how big it will be. Okay, so I'm going to use this light carnation. Let me see. Do I have a blending brush that I started for the carnations? I might. This might be it. I'm going to clean this brush just to be safe. Okay, we got to clarify something here. Okay. Uh, I think she used the snowflake embossing folder on the card. Me? Uh, on my card? Yeah, there's some. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, where is that card? Where did I put the cards? I did think I... Gina meant snowflake embossing folder, not powder. Oh. Um, are you, so she's asking me, did I use, yes, I used, for this, I used the snowflake embossing folder. Is that, I think that's what you were asking. I hope that's right. <laughs> yes, this kit isn't just for Christmas because it's a plant and anybody can have a plant. I am sure that there are beautiful poinsettias gracing homes all over for people that celebrate other holidays this, you know, upcoming season. So poinsettias are awesome. All right. So I'm going to start with the light carnation. Let's see here. And then I am going to just go ahead and get a little light carnation in here. I'm just going around the outside. 
I'm going to go on the inside too. There we go. It's a very beautiful pale, pale pink. But I love how it's got um, that little hint of peach to it. And I'm just catching the edges here because I want to define them a little bit. You see how it's catching some of that ink? There we go. And I'm using our Gina K Designs layering weight cardstock. So you can see how smooth that blend is. Are the two-step stamps on the point set of stamp easy to line up? I, I, when I was laying them out, checking them, yes. They seemed very easy to line up. But if you struggle with that, I have a video on how to line up layering stamps. And so there's some techniques in that video that might help you if you struggle. Okay. So I think that's good for the first layer. Okay. So let's pull that up and take a look at that. Isn't that just lovely and so fun? So again, if you have product questions about inventory and stuff, I can't answer them here because I don't know the answers. Um, believe it or not, that's not my department. My department is all about creating stuff and creating products. And we've got a whole warehouse team that um, knows when things are in and what things came in and when they came in. So um, I believe some of those dyes that you guys are asking about have already come in and they've already been in stock, but I don't know. So you'd have to call customer service for that. And I think Tom did add a link up there. All right, so now I'm gonna add the second layer on top and I'm just lining it up. It's very easy to line up. That You don't have to worry if it's just a hair off because this is such a big, um, loose, design. I love the way Alicia designed this. This actually coordinates with her stamp set, by the way, the uh, other points set of stamp set that we did last Christmas. So if you have that one, you can also use those together as well. Okay. So let's go to the medium carnation and see how this looks. And if we want to add a darker color, we definitely can do that. Uh, there is not a die set for the holiday silhouettes because that stamp set is meant to be stamped directly on the paper over ink blending. So that's the way that was designed. So there, you really kind of don't need a die for it. Okay, so we're going to go with this medium carnation. Oh, this is so pretty. I know layering stencils are just, they're just so fun. And it's really fun to use these colors that are meant to layer together. Really makes it easy. Okay. Love that. Now I think I'm going to add a little dark carnation into this as well. So I'm going to go with the dark. And then I'm going to use a baby blending brush for this. So you guys got one of these in your kit. If you order the kit, I'm just going to clean this up here because this has some really deep red on it. Just want to get that off. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go with the dark carnation and I'm going to add a little bit of this dark carnation just right along the edges here. So I'm going to start right in the center of the stencil and I'm just going to hit these areas in here. Kind of add a little bit of, see, I'm just catching it in the V there of each of these. Oh, I love this stencil. Okay. Just to add some depth into that. A little up in there. A little in these areas. So if I'm not answering your questions, I'm it's hard for me to look up and stencil properly at the same time. <laughs> so 
apologize for that. Okay. All right. So I think we've got some nice shading in there. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, yeah. Can you see it coming to life? Isn't that pretty? I'm loving that. So I know somebody did ask when the tidy towels are coming back in stock, and um, I'll give you a little update. We actually are redoing our tidy towel. We are, um, we have a new tidy towel coming. It is still black because we know everybody loves the black color because it doesn't look so ugly, <laughs> but um, it's going to be twice as thick. And, um, we're really excited about it, um, but they do take quite a while to manufacture. So I'm thinking that we might be another couple months out on that one. Okay, so now I'm gonna use this center piece and this I'm just gonna line up. You just gotta kind of turn it until you see it, you know, where it looks good, right like that. And that's where it looks good to me. So I think I'm gonna go with dark carnation on this one too. Let me get my red blending brush because this is a much darker color and I am going to clean any red that I have. I was going to go red hot, but I'm just going to stick with all the carnations here. Okay. What do I use to, I just use my tidy towel to clean my stencils. And then after I'm done, I just take them to the sink and wash them in some soapy water. They wash up really nice. And if you get, if they stain, just use a little bit of Gina K Design stamp cleaner on them and the stains will come right off. Okay. All right. So here we go. We're going to add this nice and dark in here. I don't have this one taped down, so I'm just holding it. And see, I'm getting real dark right in the center here. I can go in with my small blending brush to really darken that up in there. And you know what I might do? I might go in with a little bit of red hot, just cause I'm just holding this down. <laughs> I might use a little red hot right in there. We'll see. Let's see if I can get that back to where it was. I think that looks pretty good. Just right in the center. just to deepen that up. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, that's pretty. That is very pretty. Again, I'm just cleaning the stencil off as I go. All right, now I'm gonna add some black into the center. You guys know it may not be the color that um, the dots are in the center, on a real poinsettia, I think they're yellow. But if you wanna do another color, like a, a brighter color, I would say use your embossing powder, like get get whatever color you want in an, an embossing powder and do it that way. But I'm gonna color mine black and you can always put embellishments on top of these circles, like these little metallic pearls would be perfect on top of there. So you don't have to keep it black if you don't like it black, but I'm doing black because I want it to match my little edge. <laughs> and you know, I have to do the black edge. All right. Okay. Alrighty. So just get that in there. go. Isn't that pretty? Ah, oh, I love it. It's so elegant. And you can see what I mean, like our, the ink might stain the stencil a little bit, but if you use a little bit of stamp cleaner, it will come right off. <clears throat> okay, so now let's add the veins on top, shall we? Boy, now what color do I want to do the veins? Hmm, this is a tough one for me. What color should I do the veins? What 
What color do you think I should do these veins, Tom? Oh boy, pressure. <laughs> I could do them in like faded brick. That might be a good color. Why don't I try that and see how it looks? We'll give it a shot. It'll be better than horrible. And that's all that matters, right? Better than horrible. Golden emboss, gray. Oh, I, yes, I could do golden emboss and I could do gray. I am going to try the faded brick just to see how it looks. Um, and if I was going to do the golden emboss, I would do the veins first. And then I would probably do the little dots in the center in an embellishment instead. Or I would do those in a different embossing on top. So since I've already got those on there, I don't think it's going to work for me to do them in gold right now. So I'm going to use faded brick because this is definitely a, a browner ink. And I think it'll give me just a nice little detail of veins. So we'll see how it looks. It might look terrible, but it has to look better than horrible, right? Better than horrible, yeah. <laughs> see, there's my people. You could also use deco foil transfer gel for this and foil them. Or you could use glitz glitter gel or a metallic paste or something like that in these veins too. So dig through your stash and see what you have because there's lots of things that you could do. All right, I'm going to peek. I'm nervous. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. I love that. Okay. I think the veins are the ticket. You need the veins. Well, you don't, but I mean, they really do add to it, don't they? All right, so I used faded brick for that. But I agree with all of you who said gold. I agree 100%. And if I had a little more time, I would have done that. Here's the thing. Even though this ink dries very quickly, when you're going to emboss over something like this, you want to let it sit for a little bit and dry completely because you'll be surprised how embossing powder will just stick to everything if this part is not completely dry before you do the veins part. Oh, yeah, Simon Hurley Lunar Paste would be great for that as well, definitely. And I love Simon. You could also spray things through the stencil, like you could use the Tim Holtz sprays, the Distress sprays, you know, put that down and spray through it. There's just so many things you can do with stencils. Stencils are a never-ending source of joy. They really, really are. Now, here's the sad part. We're going to have to cut this down for a card. <laughs> so, oh. What no, size but, card? Well, I think I'm doing an A2. I think I'm going to do an A2 card. So like I might even use a die for it and then just like cut, cut it out like that. See, it would be like that, but I think it'll be gorgeous. So we're going to do it. So let me get my die cutting machine out. I know everybody's screaming. No, don't cut it. No, use a, make a five by seven card. <laughs> I know, but you know, I got to do my little thing that I do here. I agree, though. Gold would be gorgeous. Silver would be gorgeous on it. Um, even if you did the veins in black and then went back over with clear embossing powder, be gorgeous. So I agree with you guys. And I see all of you saying do a five by seven or a six by six. And I agree. Those would be beautiful. But I do want to show people how they can use it as an A2 card because the majority of our friends make A2 cards. And I want to show you how beautiful that can be. So let's just do it. I know it's not going to be everybody's choice, but I still think it will be beautiful. So I'm going to cut this out using Master Layouts 2. <laughs> all right. I, I, I never want to disappoint anybody. I want to make all the cards. I want to turn it into a 5 by 7 a, a slim line everything but i think that that's just beautiful and um i saw a comment 
about how it makes it look more active. And I agree with that comment, how when something's kind of coming in from the side, it definitely, it, it, it just gives it more movement for some reason. And this, this actually does help people see that, yes, even though this is a gigantic stencil, it can be used for an A2 card. All right, so I'm going to um, cut out a black panel too. Is the matching point? Um, I don't know the name of that stamp set off the top of my head, Brenda. But if you contact customer service, they can definitely let you know. Or you can just type in our website, Poinsettia. And anything that has a poinsettia will come up. And you'll be able to see which one was the layering set from last year. You'll see the layers. I think it was called Perfect Poinsettia, to be honest with you. And that's why I think we called this stencil Perfect Poinsettia. But I'm not 100% sure, and I don't want to tell you the wrong thing and then have you buy something that doesn't match. Um, yeah, I think the little piece that I cut off could be used for something. There's not much of it, though. See, that's all that's left, really. So I didn't cut off that much. Now, maybe if I had cut it in half, then I could have used half on one card and half on another, maybe for a mini slimline. Oh, Tom, they're asking for a word of the day, and I told you we didn't need one. Yes, you did, did you? <laughs> I did. I said to Tom, you won't need a word of the day today. This is like a release party. <laughs> so I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. All right, you think about it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to add some little gems onto this as well. And I can do the black ones, or I know everybody's really itching for some gold. So maybe if we did some gold in there, that would be a really nice thing. So let's get this onto a card base. Now, this would be beautiful on Innocent Pink for that non-traditional look, if you wanted a non-traditional card. But... I think I'm going to um, I think I'm gonna put it on a white card base so we can just make the poinsettia the focal image. Yeah, we could you could use that little bit for a tag if you wanted to, that little bit that was left over. Lots of good ideas you guys have. Okay. So let me grab my score buddy. Yeah, it does look beautiful on innocent pink. It would also be beautiful on a completely contrasting color like craft, um, you know, maybe even like faded brick. That would look great on faded brick with those faded brick. Let me just look at that. So I didn't even think of that. And sometimes the little tiniest piece, you know, it brings it out in there. It brings the veins out more, but definitely. Yes, you could definitely use that leftover piece for the envelope. Lots of great ideas. All right, so we'll put this on here. For now, we'll just focus on that color from that poinsettia. At least white is better than horrible and you can't like it will never clash right the white card base it'll never clash all right so i'm gonna add a few little gems on here and then i'm gonna figure out what greeting to do i'm gonna put them all over these everywhere there's a there's a dot is gonna have a, a gem okay i'm gonna use these and I think I'm gonna use the gold ones as long as there's enough gold ones because I've been using the gold like crazy. I did gold the other night and I must've used a thousand of them. So sometimes you gotta, you gotta make the switch and go with something different, but let's see what sizes we have here. That will work. We need a tiny one here. Okay. So, Tom, at any time, if you come up with the word of the day, <laughs> feel free to jump in. <laughs> right. Again, with the, I know a lot of you were asking questions about stock, but I don't have any of those answers. So you can always contact customer service to find out when something's coming back in. Although I, I have to be honest, they, they don't, 
they don't really know much because we don't know much. Our, our um, supply chain is a problem and they, they don't help us very much with when things are going to be back in stock. We usually find out when something's coming back in stock when it shows up and that's when it's back in stock. So I know that's not real helpful, but um, that's kind of the way things are in this climate. So I just feel bad that I told you we wouldn't need a word. And <sighs> So when the theme is, what is, how do you say it? Poinsettias? Poinsettia. Poinsettia. And then you can't find a word of the day <sighs> for that theme. <laughs> I guess you might be experiencing uh, pain said. A pain setter. Pain setter. <laughs> All right. It's not it's not his fault. <laughs> I told him he wouldn't need one. So. <laughs> Do you like these, Tom? These these gold things on here? I do love that. I'm still mesmerized by the veins. By the veins? I know. The veins are amazing. I remember Alicia and I were working on this together. Well, she was drawing and I was watching. That's, that's how I work together <laughs> with stuff like that. But um, she was drawing and, you know, I was telling her that it's not it's not always easy with stencils to get um the veins cut properly so she was like really going down to exactly the measurement that she could possibly do i don't have any more small ones i'm very sad and i need two more small ones well i could go big here but i need one more small one and i don't have any um Maybe I should mix and match some black ones. All right, I'll shove a medium one in there, but that's not the right size. No, that looks dumb. Disappoints <laughs> <I'm> at <dead. laughs> That's that, from Peg Marie. That's what, what's that? That's from Peg Marie. That's a great one because that's how I'm feeling right now that I don't have the right embellishment. I've got disappoints set <laughs> Wow. Well, I've got an empty one right there. Can I pull one off another card somewhere? And Barb came up with that too. That's great. All right. I, I literally pulled one off of another card over there. How's that for dedication to get the job done? Disappoint City. got a piece of the card stuck to it oh man I said this last night and I mean uh, Tuesday night and I'll say it again when these pearls are on their back they're like turtles it's so hard to get them to turn over I feel like this one here could be a really big one I'm gonna pull that off Let's see if I can pull it off I'm gonna do extraction surgery here a big one on. I haven't used one giant one. There we go. Okay. So there we go. We've got all that in the center. I should have probably just done black <laughs> in the center, but you know. Now let's get a greeting on here. Extraction surgery. All right. Let me scoop these off into my dish. Oh, I hope they all go in the dish. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's a job for me later. Now, we could do a lot of different things here. We could do that holiday die. We could do this big Merry Christmas. Wouldn't that be pretty on it? Should we do that? Let's do that. I actually have this stamp set open from my class. So I don't have to open that one. Here it is. Well loved and well used. 
and we'll do the big Merry Christmas on here. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I love this flower. <laughs> So, of course, I'm going to stamp this in black. I'm going to stamp it more than once because I don't want to distort it. It's so elegant and beautiful. So I'm just going to lightly put some pressure on it. Oh, it's so pretty. It can be fussy cut really easily. That is true because it's just points, right? It's not anything. You know what? I'm going to clean this because that's going to go right on those gems. Let's ink that up again. And I promise I'll show you a little bit of foiling with this. Too, because I know that that's going to make a difference. But there's my finished card. So what do you think? Wow. You like that? I do. I like that a lot. Okay. Yeah, I think it's the perfect sentiment stamp too. I mean, this particular set is, <laughs> is like, I mean, it makes such pretty cards. Like I showed you before, like these kinds of cards, right? makes these beautiful cards but that sentiment right there it's kind of a showstopper and so it looks so nice when you're doing these kinds of backgrounds and you're doing these kinds of real simple um this is not a complex card right it's an easy card to make you could knock out tons of these just by lining up your cardstock and doing each layer of the stencil you could do tons of them but um all you really need is that giant greeting on there to finish it off. So, all right. Well, Tom, yes. we are going to give this card away tonight, today. It's not night. It's not night yet. <laughs> so let's take a look at the card again. Okay, there it is. And then I'm going to show you the cards one more time before we pick this winner. So here are the cards that I made with that stamp set with the um, Holiday Silhouettes stamp set, these cards. And then here are some of the ephemera cards that I made with the poinsettia ephemera, the uh, winter foliage ephemera pack and the pattern paper, including the sentiment strips. Here's a little tag I made using the incentive set with um, some of the ephemera. And then here is that big, bold stencil design. And that's another one like this. You know, if you wanted to just do this and put this big greeting right on there, it would be very similar. But this is the one we're giving away today. All, All right. right. Ready for a drum roll? Yes. Okay. The winner, the <laughs> winner is... Susan Meadows. Susan Meadows. Hey, Susan, congratulations. This is going home with to you, with you, to you. Um, all you have to do is send your name and address to info at GinaKDesigns.com, and I'll get that right out to you. Well, everybody, all of this is now available in our store at GinaKDesigns.com. Just click on the What's New category, and you'll find the new kit and these other new products available for you. I'll be back over the weekend with another quick five-minute card video for you, and then Tom and I will be back on Tuesday night with more stamping fun. I'll be breaking into this kit a little bit more. And um, I'm composing some ideas in my head right now for foiling because I know you guys want to see this foiled. So lots of ideas coming up. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Stay safe, stay healthy. We love you all so very much. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.